on mine, I have it mostly colored. I need to fill in a little bit more in these lighter areas um, to be as solid as how much I've filled in these other areas. Um, but when I was doing these hills here, since I'm using two different kinds of green, I'm doing a light green and a dark green. I have my dark green up front here and this lighter green in the farther back hills. But then on this side, I did three hills, but I have to rethink how I'm doing this because since there's only two greens, this final hill back here, all the way back, if I make it this lighter green, it's going to blend in with this hill right here because once that's all filled in with the same color, there's not going to be this line that's happening here. And the same thing if I do it with the dark green, if I use dark green for it, it's going to blend in right here. So this part of this line won't be here. So that's something I have to rethink a little bit, maybe make one of the hills bigger or smaller and take out this far back hill. So you wanna look at your final draft drawing and see if there's anything like that that you might need to adjust or change or if there's any part of it where you think that adding something or changing something might help create emphasis and space better. So you wanna think about those things because this is about the last time we can change something before we actually start working with glass on our masonite. So if there's anything you think doesn't quite look just right like how you want, now is the time to change it. And you wanna think about how can it be improved or how can you adjust it to make it look exactly the way you want. All right. Um, the other thing is, is that you wanna make sure everything is an enclosed shape. So I'm realizing that my door right here that goes up and down, if it's the same color down here and up here, that line, if not filled in in the middle, isn't going to really exist. So if I want just a line, I will have to put small pieces in a line there, or I'm going to have to fill it, the door itself in with one color. So that's something I have to adjust in mine. Any line you wanna make sure is creating an enclosed shape. So this line that goes across here for the ground, that's creating this enclosed shape of the bottom here. But if it was just to go part way across and stop, it wouldn't be creating a enclosed shape. So you wanna look at your design and make sure that it is going to look exactly how you want. Um, and then once we do have that masonite board, we're going to be drawing on the board in pencil our design. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on this. I might just end up making these two hills farther back, just turn it into one hill. So then it's a bigger area since these glass pieces look like they'd be a little big for that one little tiny hill. So um, I might need to make that a little bigger and one hill so then I can fit in all these pieces. So each piece is probably roughly about half an inch to an inch in length. So that might affect how big different areas are. Like my little window here. That's about how big the actual window is compared to the rest on the actual trailer, but I might need to make that a little bit bigger so that pieces like this can fit in and fill up that space using multiple pieces. Because it looks like it might be a little small right now. And we'll have a little better of an idea of that once we all have our glass pieces and our masonite and start outlining things on it. Um, but you can kind of think about now if you need to make any changes to your design based on how big the glass is going to be. <laughs> 